What is going on guys? Aaron here, Curls on the Rack, back again for another review video. Uh, I know I haven't been doing a lot of them and then everything is piling up now uh, because I've been working on all the DIY stuff and the pulley systems for everybody. So, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I do DIY and I also do product reviews. And today we're going to be taking a look at a squat stand from Synergy. It comes with J-hooks, it comes with spotters, it comes with a pulley system. It also comes with a landmine attachment. So um, we're going to take a look at this and uh, first of all, before I get into the review, I'll go ahead and give you all the specs. It's two by two tubing, one inch holes spaced two inches apart um, and it is solid steel, uh, 12 gauge and uh, I'll put all the measurements as far as the depth, the width, the height up on the screen now and you can take a look at that. Um, but really, the true test is going to be when I throw this thing through a workout. I'm not going to take it easy on this thing. I'm going to do two workouts. I'm going to do one later today, and I'm going to do one tomorrow. And I'm really going to drop the bar on these spotters, drop them on the J-hook, really try to, you know, knock it over if I'm racking the thing. Uh, just to let you guys know if this is a good option for you if you are just starting out. I assume if you're looking into getting this rack, you want to get into fitness but you want something that is going to uh, bring the most value on one purchase and this might be it so let's get to those workouts and then at the end i will go ahead and i will give you my personal opinions on it so let's roll
All right, guys, so first and foremost, it's not my intention to force you to watch me work out. There's a ton of videos like that out there. I don't like to do those workouts, but the reason that I did this is because I wanted to test every exercise that I could that would put force on the parts or any kind of sway. I wanted to see how it moves side to side, front to back, when racking things. I wanted to drop things on the accessories. Uh, so also, please don't think that this is a workout I would have programmed. I, just wanted to test those things. Um, so I have a pros and a cons list on this guy. You saw it was 102 degrees in here. So I'm gonna try to get this done quickly and uh, you can ultimately make the decision. If you wanna buy one, I'll have links down in the description and also a promo code. So let's go with the pros first. So the pros are basically, it's a pretty nice rack. If you're considering buying something and you have $400 to spend where you get Everything that you would need to start off lifting, a pull-up bar, you've got J-hooks, spotters, they have UHM plastic on the J-hooks and the spotter arms. Uh, you get the pulley system. Uh, you saw that it could be used for either pull-downs or going from the ground up movement. The fact that this thing is, comes with free shipping for 400 bucks is not bad price at all. Um, also, it comes with a loading pin that's a one inch size or a two inch size. So if you have standard plates, this thing's gonna work with that too. And if you have Olympic plates, it's also gonna work with that too. Now, also the landmine attachment, you can put a one inch bar or a two inch bar in there. So they have you covered either way you slice it, depending on what weights you already have. Another pro is the fact that the attachments, you know, the J hooks and the spotter arms feel really heavy duty. They feel like really good pieces of equipment. Uh, which I was appreciative of. And the fact that when I was dropping weights on them, uh, it didn't feel like they were gonna break at all. They, they do feel heavy duty, so you are getting those. Another thing is the fact that when I was using the landmine attachment, it moved up and down freely. It didn't get stuck at all, and it also moved from side to side. So when I was doing the movement where I'm doing the core twist with the barbell, it didn't feel like it got stuck anywhere. So that piece that comes with it is made pretty well. Okay, so let's move on to some cons now. Uh, the pull-up bar. The pull-up bar, not a big deal, because I can bend down and pull up, but it felt a little short. If they made this slightly taller and I'm 5'9", uh, I would have liked to have been able to hang freely so I didn't have to bend my legs when doing pull-ups uh, when I had weights attached to them. Uh, but other than that, the pull-up bar worked fine. These spotter arms, while they are adorable and uh, I don't use that word that often, uh, are a little short. When I was doing squats, I felt like I had to keep in mind that I didn't want to back up too far away from the uh, J-hooks because then I might, if I needed to ditch the barbell, be way out here and then I would miss totally. But, not the end of the world, but these are a little shorter uh, than I'd like. So, if they made them a slightly bit longer, I would have felt more comfortable with these spotters. Now, if you notice during the footage while I'm working out, um, the rack wobbles a little bit side to side. Um, it also moved a little bit back and forth, but I can't give that a fair shake because I didn't bolt it to the ground. All I had was bumpers in the back side and you saw part way through. I threw some on the front because I racked it and I felt it rock back and I wanted to stay safe. But the side to side issue and the fact that the uprights and the um, legs on this are a little bit too thin for my liking as far as the metal. If they up the gauge steel on these guys and more importantly, the brackets that they use to attach the legs to the uprights here, uh, I think that would improve a lot on the side to side sway. So that's just a shout out to the company, you know. My suggestion would be get some thicker brackets down here and it would probably cut down on your side to side sway. And my only other final nitpicky thing is the fact that this thing comes with three carabiner clips for the pulley system. Now, the three carabiner clips, I had to add two additional clips to make it so that when the um, cable was attached up here, that it reached the landmine. And you can see that in the video or the footage I just rolled uh, where I had to do that. So I'd use five, it should come with two more of those carabiner clips or make the cable slightly longer. That way people can actually set it on the floor and not have to pick the weight up to hook it. Well guys, that's all I have for the Synergy Squat Rack Stand with the pulley system and the landmine uh, review. If you like the review, make sure you hit the like button, 
Let me know what you think of this rack in the comment section. If you already have it, maybe you can help some other people out. Tell them what you think about it. Uh, as always, I'll have more DIY and product reviews. I got a bench review coming out soon. Uh, so I'll be working on that along with all of my other DIY-ish type projects here. So um, until next time, guys, peace.